Oh, this is Yuki. I saw on a post last night that someone thinks that people with disabilities and autism are brain dead. I mean, it's not the case when I'm talking to you right now. Can't believe someone would think that. What if their kids had it? Would they think their kids would bring that also? Because I have Tourette's, ADHD, depression, anxiety, Asperger's. I don't think I'm brain dead. I don't feel brain dead. Pretty sure I was. I won't be talking to you guys right now. And yes, of course, it was an anti-vaxxer who said it. Who thinks that all of us are caused by vaccines. People are so, so, so stupid. Kind of under. I have Asperger's and disabilities, and I'm not brain dead, but they didn't answer. Shows how wrong they know they are. Also, second thing that I'm pissed off about and have been for a few weeks or months. You remember that girl, little girl that was. that passed away on the cruise ship? It showed in the video that she, her gr grandfather lifted her over the rail after looking out of the window, knowing it was open, and sat her on and looked over. He obviously did it on purpose, and people are saying that he shouldn't be charged at all, even though he caused the death of a baby. Trying to say that his color blindness is what caused him to not see that the window was open. Even though he stuck his head out of it. And yeah, 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 yeah. People might say it was in a play area. It was at the common area next to the play area. Not by the play area where kids could even get to it. He didn't know what common sense was, obviously. And let that baby die a horrible, horrific death. So I hope that he stays in prison for the rest of his life. Also, just a few days ago, there was another disabled boy abandoned somewhere by their mom. He was only five years old. And was out there to eat people's leftover foods. Because she couldn't care for him. And he was her only kid. Shot them at KFC and didn't even even at fire station, hospital, anywhere people would actually be able to save him. And people are still saying that she's a hero for doing so and it's great that she did it because she didn't kill him. Even though he's probably mentally and emotionally damaged now. And probably knows that his mom didn't give a sh fucking fine shit about him. Hopefully they do use the law and arrest her for the maximum sentence and he gets a new home. Bye.